everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over the new mists from Kopari. So first and foremost, I have never tried anything from this brand before these. So this is like my introduction to the brand and I got like the travel size set so I could test out all the scents for you guys. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So I've been testing all of these out over the past week, taking notes on my thoughts like in the opening, the mid notes, dry down, wear time, all of that stuff. So I figure I will start with, I believe it's Marbella Bloom, the pink one, um, and it has top notes of bergamot, lemon, and cardamom, mid notes of neroli flower, cedar, and French lavender, and the dry down has vetiver, white musk, moss, and tonka. So this is one I wasn't a thousand percent sure if it would be for me. Like I love citrus, I'm really into neroli, but the dry down with like the musk and the moss, I wasn't sold, um, but in trying it, I really did enjoy it. So I've got my little notes right here. So we'll just kind of go over my thoughts from there. So when I first sprayed it, it's got a very strong citrus with like a little bit of a hint of floral. So it's not like a straight citrus in your face, but it's got a little bit of that floraliness as well but it's so pretty. It's like a very, it's almost like a more wearable citrus. Cause sometimes citrus can come off as like floor cleaner, Lysol wipes, that sort of vibe. But the floral aspect just makes it really, really pretty. Honestly, I really like that. And then ultimately it does dry down to like a oh, nice light floral with a hint of woodsiness. So ultimately not like my jam as far as scents go, but still really pretty nonetheless. The sort of thing I wouldn't necessarily pick up a full size or once this is gone, I'm not going to be like hunting it down again sort of a thing. So overall, really pretty scent. The kind of thing I would probably like wear in my hair more often than like on my body necessarily. If you like a nice floral with a little bit of woodsiness, this is the one for you for sure. Um, they sell obviously this little size as well as like a full size. I'm not sure the ounceage. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. It might be a five but it could also be an eight, but really pretty nonetheless, just not a need for me. So then up next we have Malibu Peach. So it's got top notes of mango, peach, and pineapple, mid notes of tuberose, jasmine, white flowers, and coconut. And then the dry down has musk, amber, and praline. And this one, you guys know, I love a good peach. So this was like the one I was the most excited for even like above the vanilla one that we'll get to in a sec, but it's so, so pretty. So first off, it's got a strong like peachy mango fruitiness when you first spray it with like the slightest hint of a floral, but that peachy mango fruitiness is really what shines initially. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And then as it goes into the mid, it reminds me of Flower Moon from Pacifica, where it's got like the peach and the jasmine. So like the floral comes out a little bit more in the mid, but you still get a nice peachiness. It's, oh my gosh, I just, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. And then as it dries down, it gets a little bit more ambery, a little less peachy. And that's kind of where it loses me a bit. Um, amber notes, they're just so overpowering, at least from my experience, that it's like, I want amber with something else, but my nose just heavily picks up on amber. So like the peach is in the background. It doesn't necessarily stay as peachy as it starts out, which is a bummer, but nonetheless, it's really pretty. I will say I'd rather have Flower Moon from Pacifica, which I have in perfume form, or just like any Bath and Body Works peach, essentially. Really any other peach than this because it does get so ambery. Really, really pretty scent. Something I would layer up with another peach to kind of make it pop a little more or maybe layer it with Flower Moon because I love that one so, so much. But not necessarily something I would, again, hunt down, purchase for myself. Once, you know, once this one's gone, I wouldn't get it again. It's just not enough 
for me to justify one, the price, which I don't know off the top of my head, the price of the full size. So I put it at the bottom of the screen. Um, I believe the set that I bought was 30 or 32 for the four minis, which is still kind of pricey, of course, but Kapari is a bit more of a pricey brand. Um, I will say they did have about a six hour wear time. So they've got pretty decent lasting power for a mist, but overall, like, again, it's pretty, it's just they're better peaches. So moving on to, I believe it's Seychelles Sands. It's the vanilla one. Um, so this has top notes of milky, creamy, and spicy, mid notes of floral heliotrope and powdery, and then the dry down has vanilla, musk, and tonka. And that just, you know, sounds like it's right up my alley. My vibe completely, you guys know I'm a vanilla girl. Um, so when you first spray it, it does have like a sweet creaminess with a slight spicy, like in the background spiciness, not to the degree of like Silver Moon from Pacifica. That one is like straight spicy vanilla, it's fantastic, but that is not what this does. It's just nice and sweet and creamy. And then as it hits like the mid notes, you do get a bit of that floweriness, but it's still very, sweet and creamy, just not like an in-your-face sweet scent, like it's not overly vanilla. It's a very mellow, pretty vanilla, honestly. And then as it dries down completely, it's a very pretty, mellow, sweet vanilla scent, but not, again, an in-your-face vanilla scent. I don't know, it's so pretty. This one, I believe, is my favorite of the four, which I'm sure you guys are not surprised by, but it's still not necessarily something I would like run out to repurchase. I might need to play around with it a little bit more for me to like be like, this is the best thing ever, but it's just, it's pretty. It's a simple vanilla. It's not, I mean, it's a vanilla. You can only get so complex with a vanilla. And this is really pretty. I do really enjoy this. However, I still wouldn't say like run out. You guys need this immediately. Of course, if you're wanting to try it, go for it. It is pretty, like I said, of the four, this one's my favorite, but I'm a vanilla girl, so that was kind of destined to be my favorite. But overall, it's really pretty, but it's like not a need in my collection. All right, so moving on to the last mist, it is Kanapali Coast. I am butchering these names, I'm so sorry. I'll put this one at the bottom of the screen for you guys, because I did not say that correctly. So in the top notes, it's got peach nectar and lemon peel. The mid notes have coconut shavings, creamy milk and warm spice. And then the dry down, which sounds so enticing, has vanilla bean, praline and cloud musk. So this again, sounds so stinking good. At the front says sweet coconut milk and vanilla, which is right up my alley. That's like my jam, especially in the summertime. I feel like this is very much a summertime scent release like even the vanilla is more summery rather than like a fall winter but really pretty nonetheless great time of year for these so this one i will say is like the most straightforward of them all even like the vanilla one had that bit of floral in the mid notes and you can smell that but this is just like coconut through and through which is great i mean it smells really good you get a little bit of a citrus in the opening from that lemon peel but nothing like overwhelming it's a really pretty light citrus, but still very coconutty. And then from there, it's just coconut with a little bit of creaminess, maybe a slight vanilla aspect, but it really is just like a coconut scent. It's really pretty. This one is my most used of all of them because I was really just playing around with it to try and figure it out because I figured I must have been missing something if I'm just getting so much coconut from this. So that must just be overpowering like all the rest of it. It's just, it's a creamy coconut scent. It's very pretty. It's again, nothing too complex. The sort of thing where it's like, if you have even three coconut scents or even one coconut scent in your collection already, you don't necessarily need this because it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. Um, I wouldn't say really any of these necessarily bring anything new to the table. I'm dropping caps left and right as I pick these up, but they're all really pretty. Um, but ultimately they're not something I would say to anybody that you need these. Like they're nice, they're a nice thing to have. If you love the brand, they're a nice thing to try out. But as someone who has no connections with the brand, has no previous experience with the brand, 
They're all pretty, but they're nothing special. They're nothing to where I'm going to go out and purchase because it's my new favorite summer scent. I don't need backups. I don't need full sizes. They're really nice. They're something I will continue to use and enjoy. But as far as what they are for the price they're at, I'm happy with these. Once they're gone, they're gone and I'll move on sort of a thing. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.